Well, good afternoon and welcome to the At Home Show. If, like me, you do some occasional leatherworking, whether it's making holsters or saddles or whatever, uh, sooner or later you'll find yourself with a supply of these little scraps of leather that, you know, you just can't bring yourself to throw away, but they're really not big enough to make anything out of. Well, if, like me, you're also into shooting muzzle loaders, a great use that I've found for these little scraps of leather is to turn them into leather patches. Now, to do that, I'll need a punch that's the correct size for the caliber that I'm shooting. Uh, this is a punch that I made just by taking a little scrap of tool steel and drilling a hole through the center with a half-inch drill bit and then sharpening the end of it. Uh, now, of course, a half-inch drill bit uh, drills a hole that's a little bit larger than half an inch. I want to say this measures about 25 thousandths over. Anyway, uh, it's about the right size that when I use this punch to cut a leather patch, I'll get a little circle of leather uh, that will fit snugly inside a 50 caliber muzzle loader bore. So, I'm just going to take this punch and turn some of these leather scraps into leather patches. So now that I've cut out the patches, I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag and add some oil. Uh, I prefer to use sulfurized canola oil for this, but I imagine that other types of oil would work as well. So there, as you can hopefully see, I've added enough oil to coat all the patches thoroughly with some residue left over. But now we'll let this sit for a few days until the oil all absorbs into the patches and we don't have that residue anymore. So now that our leather patches have had a chance to absorb some oil, this is what they look like. Now, unlike most other types of lubricated patches, they don't feel greasy at all to the touch. Although, when squeezed or rubbed on a piece of metal, they do deposit a thin film of oil. Uh, so, I have plans to use these in some upcoming muzzleloader shooting episodes, but until then, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.